Yo, okay, so it's been a long time since I've done one of these ones, but I thought why not because I've got special guests for me today. So Frank has been staying at mine uh, for the past few days. Today, however, is his last full day in Bristol. Unfortunately, the weather is pretty cold and windy today, so we are going to go to the studio in Yate, which is what, Frank? Shit. <laughs> Correct. He's been learning the lingo very well. But I'm also going to show him a few, a few nice spots of uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, audio commentary taken over then. So, this was the second uh, session that I had with Frank during his stay. First one was actually really good, um, and I'm I'm dying a little inside as I see the, the text "no train, no gain" roll across the screen there. But anyway, here we go. So we started off with lowers as you do, and this is pretty much near like the end of our warm up. So first of all, I think we kind of we were kind of training similar things to be honest with alt two revs. I was relatively happy with this one here because these for me are all weak foot, but I don't think everyone would realize that at first. So I was quite satisfied to get that one quite early on. Then spent a little bit of time on no touch, in particular with Pale Trick. That's one I don't do too often. Pale Trick, Altizani, no touch. Um, then I think this one is Pale Trick opposite Lemons Abbas, no touch. I've done more stuff with that, but it just felt nice to get that one again. And Frank opened up a new door with a very nice alt homie j around the world so i was like right i want to get my alt reverse homie j back because i had not done that trick in literally about three years i think frank was getting a bit ahead of himself there and almost fell over in typical frank fashion but he made me realize i'd never done alt homie j so i gave it a go came quite close with that attempt um but actually exerted a lot of energy trying those stupid j tricks i uh, went back to the no touch and when i started that one i literally felt like i had the energy to do like five or six of them so i was a bit disappointed to drop it that early then I came to the Frank's rescue, giving him a banana halfway through the session because he was looking very tired. And in doing so, some weird magic happened where it seemed like my session just went downhill from there and Frank just came alive and became like Superman, <clears throat> as you'll see from some of the clips coming up. Um, this was easily my best like long combo of the day. Um, I did something similar to this combo with the previous session with Frank, but that's all I managed with that one there. And yeah, like I said, Frank just found like a second wave of energy. Alt Lemons Mitch combo Alt Lemons from him. Very nice. And some Piddle as well. And then, and then it just wasn't happening for me. And in all the time that the punch bag's ever been there, <laughs> I've never struck out at it like that. But it happened. And then, blow me, like Frank came in with that 6-3. And cross lemons no touch as well with a little bit of help from the ceiling um which is also decent for him very decent and then this this one i was absolutely blown away because when i saw him try it the first time in my mind with all due respect to frank i was thinking there is no way you are landing that um you've got more chance of growing another pair of ears on your knees or something and he did it second try and it was so clean I burnt down with uh, hops to finish, getting 48, and then we moved on to some sits for about 25 minutes to sort of end the session. Um, Frank sits are pretty good, lots of nice variety and stuff in there, and the sort of the hanging leg X over things as well. Um, so I won't show any of my sits clips, but no, it was good, it was productive, and I learned a lot in, in that kind of department as well. So yeah, it was a long session. I wouldn't say it was as good as the previous session we had, but it was still pretty good. Okay, so we're all finished training now. It was an okay session. Um, yeah, it was kind of like, it went downhill very quickly for me. Frank, summarize the session. It was decent. Decent. <laughs> decent. Decent. Frank came alive in the second half of that session. <laughs> Sits were productive for me as well. Learned a lot from this guy. Now we're just gonna warm down, head on into Bristol, show off a few little bits and bobs of Bristol and get some food. Happy days.
Okay, so we're almost home now. A nice little whistle stop tour around Bristol as well. Frank, did you enjoy Bristol? I did enjoy Bristol. He did enjoy Bristol. So yeah, don't expect these no trend no game videos to be a frequent thing again. I thought I would just capitalize on having the Flying Dutchman with me today. I call him the Flying Dutchman because he always bloopers and he always goes flying. You've got a bit of a reputation, haven't you, Frank? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. See you next time.